Prior to the order for the new VC-25B Air Force One jet, the 21B2 Spirits ever built were the most expensive flying machines mankind ever created. Their design also represented an absolute revolution in aerospace technology, albeit one that is now nearly four decades old. The two spirits usually look otherworldly, but every nine years they head to their birthplace for some much-needed TLC. It turns out that this unique test airframe's job is to look this way. The B-21 Raider, which is being built by Northrop Grumman behind extreme security at the sprawling Plant 42 installation in Palmdale, California, will show us the next great leap in stealth bomber technology, but we are still at least months from seeing it. The B-21 is slated to enter service around the middle of this decade, a highly ambitious goal, but until then, its flying wing progenitor will soldier on. Keeping the Spirit Force flying is no easy task. The stealth jets are notoriously finicky and extremely expensive to operate around $170,000 per hour, putting it at the top of the per hour flight cost rubric for the Air Force's inventory. Parts obsolescence remember it was built upon 1980s technology and its tiny fleet size conspire against its readiness. Above all, its sensitive low observable coatings and structures are maintenance intensive, although they are easier to maintain than they once were thanks to major strides in material science and automated application processes. Regardless, these jets need a lot of work and every so often every nine years to be exact they need a complete depot level overhaul. That also happens at Plant 42. It's here where the aircraft get disassembled and rebuilt, oftentimes better than they were before with new upgrades to show for its downtime. With that all being said, Plant 42 is where we find one of the remaining 20B2. One of these bombers was recently damaged during a landing incident, although it is very unlikely to be the airframe we see at the facility in Palmdale. This aircraft was spotted by a private pilot transiting the area. They sent us some photographs of one of the spirits sitting out on the ramp in its deep maintenance slumber. As you can see in the shots, the jet has been at least partially stripped of its coatings and some of its radar attenuating parts as it awaits the next step in its overhaul process. It's a fascinating study in seams, embedded antennas, and patina of an aircraft that is at least nearly 25 years old by now the last B-2. The Spirit of Louisiana was delivered in 1997. These aircraft have seen a lot of work done to their composite structures over the years. In fact, one of them was totally rebuilt following a fire that burned critical areas of the jet badly. The B-2 are just so precious that they get repaired when no other bomber would be. One of the new B-21 Raider's primary design objectives is for its radar absorbent sheathing to be much more sturdy and far less maintenance-intensive than the B-2. Considering all that Northrop Grumman has learned from sustaining the B-2 over the decades and how far low observable engineering and material sciences have come in that time, the B-21 will be more user-friendly and economical in this regard, but just how much so is still to be seen. The company certainly seems confident that the B-21 will be a revolution over the B-2 in this regard. These photos are a stark reminder of the age of the B-2 fleet, which isn't apparent in most photos, as the bat-winged bomber looks positively alien to this very day when inhabiting its jigsaw puzzle-like, 
smooth stealthy skin. Above all else, the images highlight just how much work goes into keeping the majority of the 20 remaining V2 ready for flying at any given time. It is simply amazing how much infrastructure and specialized capabilities exist for just 20 machines. But even so, the B2 offers clear value for what it returns in capabilities. There is nothing on Earth today in operation that can do what it does including delivering gigantic massive ordnance penetrators, MOPs, onto deeply buried, highly fortified bunkers located deep in enemy territory. That is an amazing thing to ponder considering the type has been flying for 32 years. So there you have it. Another interesting facet to the B-2 story. I would imagine this test has done absolutely critical work to keep the B-2 as relevant and as survivable as possible as it has aged over the years.